question is about radius of convergence of a series. So we have given a series summation n runs from 1 to infinity n raised to n times z raised to n and we have asked about the radius of convergence of this series. The options are 0, 1, 2 and infinity. So you just call this series as let us take 1 to infinity a n z raised to n is equal to the given series n runs from 1 to infinity. That means this a n is the coefficient of z raised to n. So comparing this we get a n is equal to n raised to n. Now we know that this 1 upon r where r is the radius of convergence of the series is just equal to limit supremum of modulus of a n raised to 1 by n right. So what is this? This is just limit supremum of n raised to n because a n is n raised to n right. Now, now a n raised to n is a positive quantity so this modulus is just itself right. Now this n will get cancelled with this n so this is just equal to limit supremum of n. So what is the supremum value? It is just infinity. That means 1 upon r is infinity. So this implies r is equal to 0. So the radius of convergence is 0. So this is the correct option. The next question is about residue of a function. We have given f of z is equal to z times cos of 1 by z and we have to find the residue of this function at z is equal to 0. Now you just note the result. Suppose you have a function f of z is equal to a0 plus a1z plus a2z square plus and so on plus b1 upon z plus b2 upon z square and so on. That means this is analytic part and this is called principal part. So for this f of z the residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 is just the coefficient of 1 by z which is b1. Now you just express this function in terms of series. So how to write this here f of z is equal to z into cos z cos 1 by z. So what is the power series expansion for cos z it is just 1 minus z square by 2 factorial plus z raised to 4 by 4 factorial minus z raised to 6 by 6 factorial and so on right. So you just replace this z by 1 by z you will get the expansion for cos of 1 by z. So this is just 1 minus 1 upon z whole square divided by 2 factorial plus 1 upon z raised to 4 divided by 4 factorial and so on right. Now you just simplify this so it is z minus now this is 1 upon z square into z so it is 1 upon z and the coefficient is 2 factorial 1 upon 2 factorial and so on because we are just interested in the coefficient of 1 by z. So what is the coefficient of 1 by z? It is minus 1 by 2 factorial. Now 2 factorial is just 2. So the residue is minus 1 by 2. So third option is correct. Next question is we have given u and v the functions u is x square minus y square and v is 2xy. Then which of the following options are true? 
the first option says that u and v are harmonic functions and u is conjugate of v second option is u and v are harmonic functions and v is conjugate of u then third option is u is not a harmonic function and fourth option says that v is not a harmonic function now here just note that let us take f of z is equal to u plus iv so it is just equal to x square minus y square plus i times 2xy right now this is same as x plus i y the whole square right so this is just z square now note that z square is a polynomial so this f of z is equal to z square is analytic function now if we have a function f of z which is analytic then u and v are harmonic functions this is a standard result so here the function is analytic that means the real and imaginary part of this f are harmonic functions so this third and fourth options are wrong because u is not harmonic and v is not harmonic is not possible so this is false this is also false u is conjugate of v means what the function v plus i u must be analytic so let us check this is analytic or not so v is what 2xy plus i into u it is x square minus y square right so let us just check cr equations so what are cr equations for this function let us say this function is g so vx must be equal to uy and vy must be equal to minus ux so what is vx vx is just 2y uy is minus 2y vy is 2x and minus ux is 2x so this gives us 2y is equal to minus 2y means what y is equal to 0 and this gives x is equal to 0 that means the cr equations are satisfied only at z is equal to 0 0 right so cr equations are not satisfied for all x y that means this function is not analytic and hence this v uh, u is not a conjugate of v so this is false now v is conjugate of u means what the function u plus i v must be analytic so let us check this u plus i v is analytic or not but as done before u plus i v is just z square and we know that this function is analytic so v is a conjugate of u so this is 2 hence the correct option is second option let us solve another question the value of integration over c dz upon z square plus 4 where the curve c is defined by modulus of z plus 2i is equal to 1 and the options are i times pi by 2 second is pi by 2 third is minus pi by 2 and fourth is minus i times pi by 2 so let us solve this so take consider this function so the function is z square plus 4 now let us find out the points where this function is not analytic so now this is just a quotient of two analytic functions namely 1 and z square plus 4 and we know that this function is not analytic whenever the denominator is 0 
so whenever z square plus 4 is equal to 0 so this means z is equal z square equal to minus 4 and hence z is equal to plus or minus 2i right so this function is not analytic at the points z at z is equal to plus or minus 2i right now we just have to find the points where uh, which are in c so let us just take this c so what is our c c is z plus 2i is equal to 1 now this is algebraic way to calculate this and let me just draw this curve so z is equal to so mod of z plus 2i is equal to 1 means it is a circle now we can write this as minus of minus 2i is equal to 1 right so in the previous question i have said that this is a circle with center at minus 2i and radius is 1 so this is x this is y and now just look at this so here say it is 0 it is minus i minus 2i minus 3i and so on now it center is equal to my at minus 2i so this is our center and the radius is 1 so draw a circle of radius 1 and with center is equal to minus 2i so this is our curve c right now let us just look at the points which are in c so z is equal to plus 2i so plus 2i is here right so clearly z is equal to 2i is not in the curve c or it is not inside and on the curve c so let us check the second point so second point is minus 2i and clearly this minus 2i is a center of this circle so minus 2i is inside the curve c now we can also do this using the uh, equation of this curve so let us fix the point z is equal to say 2i then calculate the modulus so z equal to 2i means 2i plus 2i is equal to the modulus of 4i and which is equal to 4 right and clearly this is not less than 1 and hence this says that modulus uh, z sorry z is equal to 2i is not inside or on the curve c inside and on the curve c because this is not less equal 1 now similarly you check for z is equal to minus 2i so minus 2i plus 2i is equal to modulus of 0 so which is equal to 0 and clearly this is less than 1 and hence this point lies inside the curve c so we can just observe that the point two minus 2i is inside c and the point z is equal to 2i is outside c now here we just have to consider the curve c for this integration right so let us just look at this function so take integration so let me write for first the function so it is dz upon z square plus 4 now i can write this function as z minus 2i into z plus 2i right sorry now just look at this the function is analytic at this point 2i right because it the point here the problematic point z is equal to 2i is outside the curve c is equal uh, c is defined by z plus 2i is equal to 1 so clearly this function is analytic at point z is equal to 2i whenever we consider the curve c is equal to 
this thing. So I can write this function as 1 upon z minus 2i upon z plus 2i, right? Because this function is analytic at z is equal to 2i. So I can write this part here and the point z is equal to minus 2i is only the problematic point for the function 1 upon z square plus 4 on the curve uh, for the curve c so and clearly you, you we can observe that this whole function is not analytic at z is equal to minus 2i which is inside the curve c now just recall the formula which is called Cauchy's integral formula so by this integral of f of z upon z minus a over the curve c dz is equal to 2 pi i times f of a where this a is a point inside the curve c and c is the simple closed curve. Now this is something like this right because here our f of z is equal to this function and this f of z is analytic here. This is analytic inside and on the curve c. So this function f of z is equal to 1 upon z minus 2i is clearly analytic and on and inside the curve c right because the only problematic point for the function f of z is just equal z is equal to 2i and clearly that point lies outside the curve c so this is analytic on and inside the curve c and the point now you write this in terms of z minus a so z minus a is equal to z plus 2i which is same as z minus of minus 2i so here our point a is equal to minus 2i and which is inside the curve c right so this integration is just equal to 2 pi i so integration is just equal to 2 pi i times f of z integration 1 upon z square plus 4 over c dz is equal to 2 pi i times f of z by the Cauchy's integral formula where what is this f of z f of z is equal to the function 1 upon z minus 2i right so this is f of a and this f of a is equal to f of minus 2i so this is same as now just put z is equal to minus 2i so this is just 1 upon minus 4i minus 2i minus 2i is minus 4i and let us put this value so it is just equal to this i will get cancelled with this 2 2 are 4 so it is minus 5 by 2 and hence this third option is the correct option i hope you like this video thanks a lot for watching please like share and subscribe if you find this useful and also press that bell icon to get the all updates. Thank you.